Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. And today we're going to be building Norfolk Southern AC44 for C6M. Now this is another engine, and I've done a lot of changes if you haven't noticed already. So we've done some small changes to the front and back. We've done some small changes to the railing. We've done some changes to the vents. We changed the NS logo a bit more. The ventilation systems have changed. Um, we added windshield wipers, and almost every train is going to have it. Um, what else? We changed the fuel tank. You can see, probably. Um, we've done a lot of changes. And personally, one of my favorites has to be the secret way to the... You can see here we've got an opening all the way to the cab. It's amazing, and I just love it for some reason. And anyway, let's get started. So let's get nether brick stairs, <coughs> black concrete, oak slabs, gray concrete, Hoppers, nether brick slabs, and let's get some weather skeleton skulls, some quartz slabs, and some stone brick slabs. So we're just gonna get some basic items first. And then we'll add some details. So these are all the stuff you're gonna need. And let's get started. So let's grab three nether brick stairs and place some there. With some another brick stairs facing backwards on the outsides, and then five black concrete. Then let's go to the middle part and make it so that it is 34 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, <coughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then I just press these. <coughs> um, so anyway, add a 2x3 with one on the top corners on the back, and then upside down other brick stairs, and then add two black concrete with a 2x5. Make it the middle part three blocks long until we get to the other side, and then copy the same thing. I'm lagging again for some reason. Um, and then copy the same thing and make the middle part three blocks wide. And then let's grab some oak slab and add. The basic stairwell. So this is pretty basic so far, but we're gonna add some more details. Starting now, I guess. So let's add two gray concrete. Leave a block. Add another two gray concrete, and then leave a block. Add another two gray concrete, and do that on the other side. Just Halloween decorations falling down. Let's get three black concrete and add some on both sides. <coughs> and then in the middle part, add eight of them to six, seven, eight. And then add two hoppers on the outsides. And then keep doing it everywhere. And then in the middle, add five nether brick slabs just in between them. And in between the black concrete part, just add three instead of a whole five. And 
I'm gonna have just five in between here. And then let's add another brick stairs on the outsides on both sides. Then, um, on the right side, we're going to add three black concrete and upside down leather brick stairs, and then more black concrete. And on the left, let's add two black concrete on both, from both sides, two leather brick stairs, and then two wither skeleton skulls. Then, in the front left, add four quartz slabs. And upside down another brick stairs, two quartz slabs, stone brick slab, and a quartz slab. And on the back, we're gonna add four quartz slabs from both parts, and then add upside down another brick stairs. And do that on both sides. And then on the front right side, add a quartz slab, a stone brick slab, two quartz slab another brick stairs, and then just four quartz slabs. I'll be right back, guys. I just gotta do something for a second. Guys, I'm... Alright, guys, I'm back. I mean... Oh, I also made some changes to the railing design as well. Um... So, we finished the bottom. Now, let's add some details to it. So, let's get... Birch button... Acacia button, um, dark oak buttons, triple hooks, nether brick slabs, levers, and oak buttons. So, in the front on both sides, let's add birch buttons, but on the outsides of these. On the back, we don't need them. Let's get dark oak buttons and add some on the sides, triple hooks, and then nether brick slabs. On the back, we're going to add a trip rail hook <coughs> on either sides of where the coupling is going to be, and underneath, and then levers, and then add the coupling, and then add oak buttons. Now, on the right side, add two acacia buttons, and on the left, add a birch button on the back here, and then the acacia button there. And that's all the details done. Oh, we forgot one more detail. That's going to be dark oak trapdoor. And just add some in these holes where the and those tracks are showing just for detail. Now that's some of the details done. Now that we have all our details done. Let's grab some iron trapdoors, white stained glass blocks, item frames, nether brick fences, oak fences, and dark oak pressure plates. With the iron trapdoor, add one right here, facing this way, face this way, and then add one, and then add a dark oak pressure plate, because that opens up our secret base to the cab. Then add two nether brick fences with an oak fence on the sides and then add item frames with a white stained glass block and on the back just add two nether brick fences and then add some oak fences and then add the item frames with the white stained glass blocks in them then after that let's work on the front so let's grab some black concrete block of quartz and iron doors, nether brick slabs, and andesite. And with all those items, let's build an iron door. So first let's build this L shape with black concrete, an iron door, and then build the other L shape. And then add a block of quartz on either sides.
I hear noises. Whatever. Add a uh, bunch of quartz right there. Um, and then let's build kind of an arrow shape. So you know, let's add one, then add three, and then add four. So it's kind of like an arrow shape. And then add two andesite, and then add black concrete, and then add another row, and then add block of quartz. Let's build a black concrete above here, and then another brick slabs. On, each, on both corners. And then add a row of black concrete in there. And then add a double row right down here. And then add a 2x2 two two, just connecting it. And then add a black concrete. And then add about four of them. And then add this shape right here, and then another two going up, add an andesite here, and then block of quartz. Then let's add a row of black concrete, just three of them behind it, for the wall against the cab. And then let's start the cab door, so let's get stone pressure plate, glowstone, and ladders. This shape, and then I have glow stones on either sides. And then let's add some more black concrete, and then add ladders, and then um, let's add some block of quartz on the top. And add the floor with black concrete. And then let's get a dark oak trap door and add one right here. Then let's get court stairs, another brick stairs, and black concrete. And just on the outside, add court stairs. And then add another brick stairs on the sides. And then connect with black concrete. Then let's go inside. And then let's build some gray stained glass pane and gray stained glass block. And let's grab some lanterns for more source of light and add some glass panes in the holes. And then gray stained glass blocks in these holes. And then add lanterns right in the back there. And then add stone buttons as a little V shape. And then go this way and place a lever. And then add another V shape with stone buttons, I'm pretty sure. And then add a stone pressure plate so the door open. And then what else do we gotta add? Okay, we gotta add a few more details and then we're done. And you can hardly see the door due to the banner, so that's a really cool addition. And let's grab another brick stairs and just add some on the sides with some buttons behind it. ladders and on the outsides of the andesite just add ladders and let's grab some birch buttons and add two of them like right there and then add one above the stone button I mean stone slab and then add two right there 
Then let's grab black concrete, add a 3 by 5 and then add birch buttons, just leaving a block from each other, diagonal down, leave a block and add one, and then do it again, leave a block and add one, and then do that this. Then extend this black concrete back another row there like that. And then add black concretes on either sides. <coughs> then let's add uh, sideways two by four, one, two, three, four. And then add another brick stairs across the rest. And then add a black concrete wall to cover this. Just a wall of it. And then keep adding some until you get a whole wall of it. And then leave a block here and add one. Leave two blocks and add one. And in these two spaces, add andesite ladders right on the outsides. And then add merch buttons around all this. Um, let's grab jungle wood and acacia wood and merch buttons. Oh, and bedrock. Now with the bedrock, add three bedrock right there. And then a sideways jungle wood like that. It's actually facing up. And then add a birch button. And then add an acacia wood. And I just noticed we're going to grab a dark oak button and add one in between there. Then let's grab stone buttons and then birch buttons. I can add two stone buttons and then two birch buttons. Then let's add black concrete as the roof. And then add black carpet connecting all this. And then let's get dark oak trapdoor and black carpet. And add black carpet above there. And then dark oak trapdoors behind it. And then another row behind there because in rows of it because there's like little lumps, like rows there. That's a little weird, but whatever. Then let's place a block right here. Add a dark oak trapdoor. Hold shift and space at the same time and place another side of it. Do the same thing the other side. So it opens like that. It's pretty cool. And that's my windshield design that I'm going to be keeping. Probably forever unless I decide I don't like it anymore. Let's grab birch fence gate and birch signs and add an open birch fence gate and then a birch sign with your number. So press enter and add a number. And you can go on Google and find a number. Unless you're just building a random train building the tutorial and it doesn't have to be realistic or um, it can be unrealistic then go ahead and just place whatever number you want that is 4 or 3 digits probably 4 because it at least has to be a little realistic by adding 4 then let's um let's go to the back or actually no, we're gonna continue all the way to the back um, let's grab some block of quartz, some quartz stairs, black concrete, dark oak buttons, stone buttons, and birch buttons. Um, just above these two skull heads, add block of quartz. And then the other side, leave a block from this row and add two. that and then fill all this in. Fill in another row and then add two block quartzes like this. 
and then a row of black concrete. And let's build the quartz stairs facing upside down from this row right there. And then add dark oak buttons on these sides, blue stripes. And then add another row. Go in the middle row because this is the horn. Then let's add a birch button, no, stone button there and there. And then birch buttons. And on the right side, let's add stone buttons here and here. And this train has a lot of buttons. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Let me know in the comments if you want me to be a little slower. And anyway, let's build on the right side a row of black concrete here. Or just add a row actually. And then let's grab another brick slab, a dark oak fence gate, smooth stone, and snow layers. Let's grab another brick slab, add a 2x3, and then kind of make an 8 shape here. On the front gap, add another brick, I mean not another brick, a dark oak fence gate. Then add smooth stone block with two snow layers. Slide a snow layer and then add another one. Then after that, let's add a row of concrete connecting all the way until we get to the 2x5 secondary row we added there. Stop right there. Um, add a black concrete right here. Two block of quartz. And then regular facing another brick stairs. And then add an item frame with white stained glass block in it. And now let's add a row of another brick stairs. Right across the top. And now let's add upside down ones. Right underneath here, like that. And then add two another brick slabs. Put the connecting row on top. And then add two right underneath. Double one, like that. And then add upside down another brick stairs. Like this. Like back fence. And then let's grab slash clear. Um, let's grab black concrete. Um, what else are we gonna add? Let's grab acacia wood, birch buttons, black concrete, lecterns, and pistons. And let's add a row of black concrete in the middle. But you don't have to, but I'm going to. Actually, you have to because that will make things a little easier. Connect it all the way up here. And then you can add rows up there like that. Then let's add a row of three on the back of like that. I know it's really hard to see, but it'll be soft soon. So add three acacia wood, black concrete, acacia wood, and then a black concrete, three acacia wood. And repeat that pattern until there's about four pillars of acacia wood. So you can add another row of black concrete. 
You might see birch buttons on top of these. And then another one just extending to the right. And on the right side, it's going to be different. So it's got acacia wood on these sides, a plush shape of black concrete, and then more acacia wood. And on the top left one, add a birch button. And let's get black wool. And above this acacia button and wood, or not acacia button, acacia wood, add a black wool, replace that. Then let's add Grab acacia wood and add an L shape. Then add a row of this. Let's get lectern and add a piston above. And then a black concrete in the gap. Then add two concrete, two wood, two concrete. And then add two birch buttons above there like that. And we're almost done. So, basically on the right side, let's grab slash clear first of all. So let's grab gray carpet, iron trap door, nether brick fence, nether brick stairs, black carpet, black concrete, Birch buttons, ladders, and oak fence. And we're going to grab another detail later. So let's extend four black concrete and then add ladders just either sides above that stone brick slab. And then let's, you know, get rid of the oak fence. Let's grab a dark oak fence. Add a black carpet right here. And then add another brick fence here. Leave a block and add another. And then add a dark oak fence. Let's grab another brick stairs and add one. Add black carpet extending. Um, let's see. Let's grab iron trap doors. I'm going to add a detail, add one here, leave a block, add one, and keep doing that till we get to here and then stop. Add another brick fences across, and then add black carpet. Then let's grab gray carpet, leave a block, add one, leave a block, add one, leave a block, add two. Let's grab a dark oak fence, add one there, add another brick fence around all these, and then some black carpet. On the right side, um, add, um, add a birch button right underneath this middle one, another brick fence around here black carpet there, and then add more right there. Let's grab another brick stairs, add two of them going down, then another brick fence. Then let's grab some iron trap door, add one here, leave and one there, leave a block, add one, and keep doing it till there. Let's grab another brick fence, and add a bunch, add black carpet in here, Let's add gray carpet after that and keep leaving the block till there. Let's get another brick fence. And let's get black carpet around all that. Then we only have a little bit left. Let's grab an oak fence and a yellow carpet and add oak fences on the sides and then yellow carpet. Then we have one last thing to do, and that is the banners. So let's grab the loom. 
a black carpet because you're gonna need that. I'm gonna grab a gray banner. Um, three black banners and a white banner. Add four black dye. Actually, six. So we need two for that, two for that, and two for two of those. Add nine. Get ten white dye, actually. Go to your loom. And let's get gray banner. Add one there. And then get two black dye and add them. Um, add a black border. And then a halfway up. For the black banners, add nine white dye. Add a one third on the top, a one third on the bottom, a line going across the middle. Add one there, and one of them make it go like that, and one of them make it go like that. Then add the white banner and the two black dye. Add one striking through the diagonal thing. And then add a diamond shape. And then let's add a white border. Now all I have to do left add um, the door banner right here and then a black carpet. Add this on the door. Some black banners of those stripes on the sides. Add this one right here and this one right here. That's the cab done. Now let's do the back and we're done. So add this one right here, um, a stripe one there, a horse, a stripe one, and then this one right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me just get my screenshot. I'm going to do that after the video. And then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!